It's dark in here. Anyone? Uh, I think I feel dirt. Mm, I definitely have mud in my teeth. Where am I? I can't see a thing. Where is all this dirt coming from? Maybe I'll just take some to get it out of the way. Hey, I think I can see some light. Uh, let me just grab some more of this dirt. Hey! I can't believe it! I've been buried alive! Again! Hey! My hand is back! Uh oh. Well, this really can't be good. Where am I? Here lies Ted, a pirate thief. He punched LeChuck and earned his grief. Here lies Frederick Pirate, loving husband, devoted father, pillar of the community, hanged because of a terrible misunderstanding. Uh -oh. Behold the remains of our dear Captain Barrett, pecked through the brains by his mutinous parrot. R.I.P. Phineas McDriver, a.k.a. Shark Fightin' Finny, a.k.a. Shark Bait, died from a bear attack. Here lies What's-His-Name. May we never forget. R.I.P. Davy, a pirate reporter. His stories were long, but his obit was shorter. All hail Santino, brilliant and brave. A pirate too good to be stuck in a grave. Noogie liked bongos and wooing the ladies. He turned on his brothers who sent him to Hades. Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Uh, at least they finally got the last name right. Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Wait, was someone implying that I have mites? Aya doggy, come here, boy. Oh, I wonder if he's lost. Better take him with me. Yikes. Uh, maybe I should make friends with him first. You don't see one of those every day. Hmm. Nothing. Looks like this machine only takes bills. Ew, this water is kind of slimy. Where does it go? The center of the crossroads. It's wet and slimy. Reminds me of my old pet salamander, Mr. Wiggly. It's a turnstile. And apparently death has yet to shed any of the inconveniences of life. Uh, hi there. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, and I think I may be dead. I... Am I really dead? Am I really, really dead? I... So, I'm completely dead. I... I'm not just mostly dead? I... 
Uh, okay, look. You do still have a tiny shred of life you seem to be hanging on to. But for all intents and purposes, let's just call it dead. Dead. Have we met before? Nay. You look familiar. Are you sure we haven't met before? I... Nice outfit. I... This boat looks immaculate. You'd never suspect it hauls around dead people all day. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh, do you go there too? I found a dog. Is it yours? Nay. Do you know what that dog is doing over there? Nay. Is there any chance you can take me back to the land of the living? Nay. Uh, where are you going in this boat? To the crossroads. Can we go to the crossroads now? Pay me. How much does it cost? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Eyes of everlasting sleep? I have to give you my eyes? Nay. I mean, I know that I'm dead, but I'm still rather attached to my eyes. You do not? Can I still see without them? I'm still really new to this whole being dead thing. It's a metaphor, you philistine! Just give me the two gold coins that were placed on your eyes when you were buried. Oh, golden eyes of everlasting sleep! I get it. But wait, I wasn't buried with any coins. <laughs> Typical pirate. No coins, no crossroads. How much does it cost again? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Oh, right. Two gold coins. Why is there a grog machine in the afterlife? For the thirst of eternal waiting. Hmm. Fair enough. I'll be back when I find some coins. I... For some reason, I've been able to cling to this single shred of life. They can get their own life. This is the last remnant of my corporeal self. I shouldn't monkey around with it. Dirt can't hurt. What can I do with- Be gone, pirate. Do not soil the gondola of death. Nice gondola. It's so clean, despite the fact that it's basically moving through a river of ectoplasmic sludge. I... Seriously, that boat is spotless. I'm very impressed. I... You must clean it every chance you get to keep it so clean. I... Wow, you do pretty good in tips. Do not touch. Let me just count that up for you. Do not touch. I think you missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Oh, pig knuckles, I just polished that too. Rotten kids. He's got plenty of money in there. I'll just take a little. Mo money, mo ability to solve puzzles. Here's some cash for the ride. Exact change only. Seriously? You won't even make change for me? Nay. Huh. Now, 
What am I thirsty for? Grog XD. Well, this must be that new high energy grog that all the kids are drinking these days. It's sold out. Just fine by me. The kerosene and battery acid tend to keep me up at night. Oh, I guess there's no cherry grog. Shoot, that's my second favorite flavor. Right after purple. Diet grog is sold out. I guess even ghost pirates need to watch their figures. Mmm, cool, refreshing grog on the go. For when you need that extra something to face your day. Grog. Facing the judge just got that much easier. No time to be buying people drinks. Grog can't solve all my problems, but it does help me face many of them. I think he missed a spot. Nay. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Oh, pig knuckles, I just polished that too. Rotten kids. Maybe just a little more. Great! Now, what am I thirsty for? Hey, it may change for me. Gold coins. In the Chuck's haste to murder me and steal my wife, he forgot to put a couple of pennies on my eyes to secure my safe passage to the afterlife. Jerk. Here you are. Two gold coins. Please take me to the crossroads. I... Please enter the boat single file. While the boat is in motion, you must keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. The ferry to the center of the crossroads is not responsible for any belongings left on the boat after departure. A new arrival! Hey! Sorry about that, but without the flash of enlightenment, old Caleb can't get a good exposure. Come, buy a souvenir picture! Uh, no thanks. I don't have any money. Is that so? Well, let's just see what you have on ya! Indeed, you are broke! Well, when you do get your hands on some cash, which will probably be pretty soon on account of your being a pirate and all, don't forget to come back and purchase this lovely commemorative photo of your very own spirit entering the crossroads. That's fine, just stay out of my pockets, will ya? This must be the center of the crossroads. Yes, this is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure huntery. How piratey. The center of the crossroads. Uh. 
excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Tripwood? Where am I? And what is the crossroads anyway? The crossroads are where the physical and spiritual realms meet and where your journey into the afterlife begins. From here you can choose your final fate and fulfill your pirate destiny in Fila's Green. Or maybe you'll just mope about like a schlub. Personally, you look a bit like a moper to me. What are you doing here? You might say I'm a lost soul trying to find my way, but I can't seem to find my guide dog. I've been here a long time, so if you get lost and need some guidance, you come see me. Do you know the voodoo lady? Can you be a bit more specific? Maybe a name? I've known a lot of voodoo ladies in my time. I, uh, never got her name. I noticed I have a shred of life in my pocket. Why? Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. You must have thought that staying alive was pretty important for some reason. Well, yeah, I... Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. Where did the creepy boatman go? His only job is to ferry arriving souls to the crossroads where they can choose their eternal destination. Once he's done his job, he'll no longer appear to you. Also, he said he had to leave early for his sister's baby shower. Has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? Nope, never. No, sir. Can't be done. Are you sure no one has ever been able to return to the land of the living? Whoever told you a thing like that? Of course it can be done. Why, I remember a handsome young pirate who returned to the land of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. LeChuck, I think his name was. LeChuck? But he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. I don't want to be any of those. Don't think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. Well, how did the Chuck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was out of here. Are you lying to me? What? What did I say? That he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid. LeChuck returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it spells. What happened to the spell LeChuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. And my wife is still alive out there somewhere. You do that. Might be surprised at what you find when you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. <whistles> huh? always wondered what it would be like to be dead. I think I expected a bit more pomp. Circumstance, even. And the crossroads is great and all, but, you know, a 21 musket salute wouldn't have hurt. A chariot. Ooh, pirate chariot. A choir of sirens exalting my name. You know, a little something. Hello? What's on your mind, Tripwood? Do you still have the spirit photo? You got any money yet? So you say you know a lot about spells, eh? Fancy myself a bit of a spell connoisseur. Big ones, small ones, uppers, downers, reversals, hexes, jinxes, you name it. Really? Huh. I'll keep that in mind. What did you say your name was again? Gable. What did you say your name was again? No Treblik. Talk to you later. Sure, why not? Huh. 
treasure hunter's dream in here. Aye, matey, help yourself. If there was ever a treasure in life you were meant to have, just do some digging and she'll be yours. Hmm. Well, this looks as good a spot as any. Flying sand, please. Uh, so this is what happened to my cursed pirate parrot of Petaluma after Desinge obliterated it. Gotcha. Shoot, they're too small. They just slip right through my fingers. Oh, great. More tiny parrots. I guess since he got atomized into a million bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm going to get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. Hey, where are you going? Come back! Treasure, all you can dig. That's nice. Murray? Whew, thank goodness. Not that I'm scared of Murray. Murray's a punk. You hear that, Murray? You're a punk! Ah! <sighs> You're still a punk. Eh, I think I've poked it enough. Nice treasure pile. It is! And you'd do well to keep your scurvy little fingers off of it! Nice treasure pile. Hey, get your own! There's plenty of treasure here! Greetings, fellow dead guy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. My uh, I know who you are. You do? Wow. I knew I was getting pretty famous, but who knew my legend extended into the afterlife? Legend schmidgen. We bumped into each other back on Spoon Isle. Oh, yeah. You were one of the guys trying to beat up LeChuck. How'd that work out for you? You tell me, smart guy. Ooh. What are you doing? Why aren't you digging up more treasure? Hey, I'm taking a break, counting up what I have so far. You haven't lost a dog, have you? A dog? What would a pirate need with a dog? Silly creatures always sliding back and forth on the poop deck, barking while you try to sneak up on your enemy. Who needs them? Now a parrot. That's a good pet for a pirate. Oh, well I thought you might be using him to find buried treasure. Ah, finding treasure is easy here. Just dig and get rich. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you wind up with that massive hole in your gut? Mind? Why should I mind reliving the horrifying moment of my demise? Um... That was rhetorical. Oh. 
As you recall, when me and the boys heard that the infamous demon pirate LeChuck had been turned into a human, we thought we could make our reps by giving him a good pirate thrashing. I remember. Even as a human, LeChuck was too much for you guys. Aye, but I got in a good left hook or two before he got away. So? So, after Captain McGillicutty's unfortunate demise, we decided to start up our own little swashbuckling crew on Spoon Island. Nice place. Lots of fish. What does this all have to do with the hull? I'm getting to it! Sorry. So anyway, we were right in the middle of procuring a suitable ship for pirating, when suddenly, BAM! My box is cured! I did that. Well, goody for you. Unfortunately, I didn't have long to enjoy my clean bill of health before the evil demon LeChuck sailed up, stuck one of those newfangled Hungarian cannons in me stomach, and pulled the trigger. Guess he remembered that left hook. You know, you could have just said, LeChuck shot me with a cannon. What's wrong with a little colorful narrative? So LeChuck sailed all the way back to Spoon Isle just to kill you? With a cannon? No, he didn't stop there. That demonic menace also killed me mates and destroyed most of Spinner K. I've been talking to this Galeb guy at the center of the crossroads. Funny looking fella? Yeah. That's odd. He told me his name was Squinky. I think he lies a lot. A lot of people lie a lot. The trick is figuring out when they're telling the truth. And how do you do that? If I knew that, I might not be hanging out in a field full of X's with a hole where me liver, lungs, and kidneys used to be. There are a lot of X's around here. Well now, aren't we the observant spirit? Were you some sort of scout in your former life? Or were your age dulled senses restored to the fullness of youth after you passed away? I'm a mighty pirate. Of course you are. We're all mighty pirates down here, schmuck. And this is the treasure hunter's paradise, with never-ending caches of pirate booty found under each and every X, as far as the eye can see. Wow! So let me get this straight. There's a fabulous pirate treasure under each and every one of these X's? What? You still got grave dirt in your ears? Try it yourself! I've been told by a marginally reliable source that LeChuck may have buried something important around here. LeChuck? Ah! He should bury himself if he knows what's good for him! So you don't know anything about it? No, but there are a lot of X's here. Hard to tell what's buried where. Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. It's surprisingly light. An anchor. I'm not gonna let it hold me down. Splice the main brace! Another bag of gold! I tell you, I'll never get tired of this. Hey, old Creepy Bones left his tip jar. I'll just hold on to it. For safekeeping. The leg bone connected to the... Uh, mm -hmm. oh, shoot, I can never remember that song.
You look like, uh, Franklin. Hey, boy, you look hungry. Want a bone? Here you go, boy. Oh, poor thing. You should probably come with me. If I had the nose of a hound dog, the last place I would want to be is my pocket. Welcome, welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. I wonder what this would feel like in my pocket. Clay urns. That's weird. I have a nagging urge to smash these. I wouldn't do that, friend. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Because it's rude. Right. Of course. Hey, nice! I had a collection of autographed sextants, too! Do you have a Vasco de Lama? Ah, <laughs> I'm sure that I do. Wow, what a coincidence! How'd you manage to steal this? Funny story, I was running a con on Deadeye Drake, trying to get at his collection of gold cannonballs, when he hauls out this thing and asked if he could have it shipped back home. <laughs> I even charged him 300 pieces of eight to do it. Oh, how that guy survived as a pirate for more than two years is beyond me. Wow! What's the story behind this? I lifted that right out of the pocket of Betsy Bilgewater. Stealing that was easy. Trying to steal a kiss got me a swift kick to the boys. Yikes! Hey, what's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. This is nice. Where'd you get this from? Ah. That I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself, just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank from the crow's nest. Oh. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, scrolls, parchments, and maps. Winslow would be so happy. Egg legs? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? Wow! You stole this? Actually, that was already there when I got here. Hmm. Fair enough. What's the deal with this thing? Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. Wow. You mind if I, uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. The Sock of LeChuck. It has the fetid stench of an undead athlete's foot. Excuse me. What is it, friend? What happened to your hands? LeChuck happened to them. I guess he still held a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. Doesn't having no hands get in the way of your thievery? Not if you're good. I can lift a wallet with my teeth, crack a safe with my toes, and loot an entire treasure hold using just my, uh, cheeks. Ew. So, what kind of thievery skills do you have? 
the usual friend, pickpocketing, lockpicking, safe cracking, and creating artificial buying pressure for a generally low trading volume issuer in the over the counter securities market. Yeah, me too. Did you steal everything in here? Most of it, friend. What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Uh, I didn't say anything. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is? Well, I'd better turn around and look at it. Why, I don't see anything over here. Yoink. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you've got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. I can't have this place full of thieves all the time, or people will stop coming in, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for being so accommodating. Speak nothing of it, friend. Feel free to come back at a later time. Hey, wait a minute! Some of my stuff is gone! That two-bit thief robbed me! Pretty smoothly, too. Go ahead, little guy. Find LeChuck's hidden treasure chest. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't know what he's looking for. Here you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. Okay, boy. Dig me up a vile-looking treasure chest. Hey, where you going? Bad dead dog. Franklin, there you are. You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <laughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? More than meets the eye. So, nothing. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never. <laughs> mm, but you do have the treasure. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and around we'll go. It's hard to say. Franklin's found the scent of LeChuck's treasure. It doesn't make any sense. Franklin says the treasure is here, and that lying Galeb agrees. I can hear you. Whoops. But still. Franklin is sniffing all over Galeb's feet. Hmm. Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Deepwood? I let Franklin get LeChuck's scent so he could find the treasure, but he came here instead. Hmm, curious. Maybe I am LeChuck. Are you? Nope. Do you have LeChuck's treasure? Yes. Just as I thought. No. Wait, what? But Franklin agrees. You're supposed to say no. Then there's no doubt. But that's your thing. Doubt. Puzzling. Where were you the last time you saw LeChuck? Right over there. Just a few steps over there. Not right here. Sigh. What did you say your name once again? Caleb. What did you say your name once again? Vicky. Talk to you later. Sure, why not? <laughs> that 
That putrid smell is so familiar. Yuck. What? Oh, that's LeChuck's sock. I guess it is pretty rotten. Sorry. Have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFarfick Nugan. That's not my ne- Hey! That smells like him! The Chuck's treasure. Where'd it go, Franklin, you salty dog? Now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a dump to the head all those years ago. That is one ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. Now how am I going to get it open? The box of LeChuck. Locked with the, um, lock of LeChuck. LeChuck's chest is locked. I don't suppose you can open it. Open someone else's property. What am I? Some kind of criminal? I'm more of a welcomer. Hello, chest. Welcome to the crossroads. See, that kind of thing. Mo money, mo ability to solve puzzles. I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it once I figure out how to get back to her. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories. A photo of my spirit. They say the ethereal camera of the afterlife subtracts 10 pounds. Nah. myself a genuine buried treasure, but it's locked. Any chance you know how to open it? What would you want to open up a hideous box like that for? Trust me, nothing but trouble can come from a chest like that. Ha! Trouble is my middle name. Uh, actually, it's Ulysses, but I tell people it's trouble. Welcome back, friend. Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking, but I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Hey, what was that? What was what, friend? You just kicked my spell into that pile. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Nah, that thing was a pain to carry around. I think I'll leave it. Excuse me. What is it, friend? Hey, the last time I was in here, you robbed me. Aye, of course I did. And you robbed me as well, if I remember correctly. Ah, you got me. <laughs> What's a few stolen items amongst thieves, eh? Ha, <laughs> good times. Good times. Would you mind, uh, looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm, better have a look. Why, I don't see anything over here. Are you sure you meant behind me? Okay, boy, do your thing. Maybe if I try a screw. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for just a little bit longer, but then I'm turning around. Sorry, boy. 
If he sees you with the scroll, he'll just take it away again. Wait till he's showing me out, well, I then don't make a break for it. Over here. Yoink. Are you sure you may? I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. Till next time, friend. Yep. There you are. Okay, give me the spell. Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad, Franklin. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! You didn't happen to see a dog bury a voodoo spell around here, did you? I did see the little mutt digging around. Didn't pay much attention to where. Only the dog knows for sure. It's been, um, interesting catching up, but I've got five or six impossible things to do and I don't have time to listen to you, Kvetch. Fine! More treasure for me! Okay, boy. Do your thing. Gotcha! Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. The physical and spiritual realms coexist as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. And you must have an anchor to ensure that you will stay. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come, and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone? How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! I found a voodoo spell to get me out of the crossroads. Well, aren't you special, Mr. Too Good to Stay Dead like the rest of us? I need these ingredients. Seen anything around that fits these descriptions? I don't know. I've dug up a lot of treasure here. It's possible one of those things may be around here. Hey, Caleb? Hello? Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Maybe he'll turn up later. Morgan? Ahoy, matey! I see another swordsman be coming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Very well. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness you're all right! Hey, I be talking to you! No, I'm not all right. I'm dead. Apparently you are too. Now go away! Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed LeChuck? What? Death must have scrambled your noggin. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. Sword fighter looking for a challenge over here. DeSinge? But you said... That's just great. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly listen to my death rattles. But... And on top of that, 
He sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a whip-wristed, wig-wearing sissy boy like DeSinge with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with a Chuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably gonna need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. Anyone? All you need is to get a little fight back in you. Come on, grab your sword and fight me! No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed! Fight me! Fight me! Well, I'm not done with you yet, lady. I'll be back. <sighs> Fine. I'll just wait over here, then. Come on. Why won't you fight me? What's the point? You don't even have a sword. I still have my razor-sharp wit. Great. Use it on that guy. He seems to want to fight. Aha! Come to test your steel and wits against me, lad. Well, I hope you have sharpened both, cause I'm about to- No thanks. How long has Morgan been sitting there? Uh, I can't say for sure. She's been here since before LeChuck did me in, that's for certain. Just sitting there. She won't even insult sword fight me. Every time I toss out a taunt, she just agrees with me. Arr, matey! Come to match wits against me! No thanks. Ah, then you must want to know how I lost me head. LeChuck cut it off. Oh, I see. So you just came over here to waste me time then? Thanks. You're welcome. Pardon me, mind if I borrow this? Hey, LeChuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. LeChuck? Aye. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. Aye, that makes sense. A ghostly sword of the afterlife. So you're ready to fight, eh? I am, but not with you. I just want to say thanks for the sword. So, thanks. Hmm. On your feet, Mo. Fine. Yes, now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. I died a failure. I used to dream that somebody would call me the greatest pirate hunter in the world. You make me want to puke. Uh, wait, I got confused. Can you two say that again? I died a failure. I used to dream that somebody would call me the greatest pirate hunter in the world. You make me want to puke. Oh, don't even say that. I might start vomiting too. Yeah, sometimes I make myself sick. No, I was talking to- Forget it. I'm useless. On guard! Fine. Yes! Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Trust me, you are no little boy. That's the best you've got? Ha! That'd be a poor insult. What? No, I thought I was talking to the lady. I even that would have been a better comeback. But it's too late now. I win! But if he's the winner, then I must be the loser. On guard! Yes! Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Believe me, you're all woman. I'm useless. I can barely even lift my sword. There certainly is a foul smell coming from this fight.
See? In some ways you are stronger than me. My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. It's hopeless. I can't believe I once studied under the greatest swordsman in the Caribbean. He must have taught you everything you know. You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breast spray. Wow! I didn't think that you had it in your lass. Now my head and I can move on and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. If there is any way I can help you, just ask. Hey, you. What's up? Are you sure it wasn't Desinch who killed you? You sure acted guilty. Didn't you pay any attention to my dying words? I clearly said, don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran me through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say, Desinge is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. Hey, when you crossed over, were you still clinging to a shred of life too? Shred of life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Did Galeb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads, too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here, though. I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great! How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe? What are the items? The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. Sounds like you need something to point you in the right direction. I must have an anchor to ensure that I will stay. Hmm. I swear I saw something like that over in the treasure hunting area. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? I don't know. What do you pirates use when you stupidly take on insurmountable dangers without an ounce of fear? Pirates do that? Boy, I need to learn how they do that. Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. center of the crossroads. Something to find your way. Check. Sit. Stay. Good dog. I 
Fingers away. Check. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. Okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? Hey, you! What's up? How's the sword fighting gig going, Mo? You know, it's not bad. I've already defeated three total posers and one half-decent fencer. It's not quite the same thrill I got from being a hired mercenary, but it'll do for now. You still depressed about being dead? It's not so bad. I'm not so sure I'm ready to move on, though. Being a guardian for the crossroads and fighting off the weak and unworthy is fun, but I don't think I want to be stuck here for eternity. Hey Mo, I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I... I don't see anything. Right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that... Is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Hey! That's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no! I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. You just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me luck. Ah! Ah!